Hey, welcome Easy Insights number seven. John and Corey here. We got Joel running the field forecasting tool for you. We are in downtown Chicago. Uh, temperature, we don't know. We've been in a hotel for three days. Sunshine, we don't know. I got some rain drops hitting the windshield, got reports of some rain back home. Uh, and our theme is we rise. Corey and I can't help but think of our crop rising at home. How do we look at our crop when we're away in the hotel? Well, let's look at our crop. This is field forecasting tool. So we got some rain back home. Um, you can see uh, moisture levels looking at some of the fields. We're good for moisture. One of the things I've been paying attention to and getting some calls on is nitrogen. So nitrogen, you can see a lot of our fields here are deficient in nitrogen. Uh, we would expect to see that. We just side dressed, we've had some moisture. So we'd expect to see a little bit of nitrogen deficiencies. The other thing we can look at here is potassium. So with our root development, the way it's been going, uh, the size of our roots, what I've been seeing, some of the recent uh, easy insights that we've given you, we've shown that uh, some of the issues that we're dealing with in the field, we've got some cinder blocks, maybe we have to get those roots down and growing a little bit. So one of the things that we use to manage uh, these applications in the field is how do we look at which nitrogen rate, what should we use in, and where do we focus in on. So some of the simulations we can run. So if we're running simulations, looking at that on the field forecasting tool, we can take that tool and we can uh, say let's start pick our starting date let's run that simulation and how many pounds per acre are we going to increase and where's our return on investment so here's an example of one of the simulations we can run we started here at 25 pounds an acre all the way to 115 pounds an acre as you can see on the 23rd so a couple days ago all the way up to 11th of July if you were gonna side dress on the 23rd there is a sweet spot down in here but as you notice once you get into this later season, as some of our hybrids, and Corey's mentioned in the past, as some of our hybrids are taking up uh, nitrogen late season, we get a, about a third of nitrogen after that flowering time frame. So this is gonna be important. Right now, looking at flowering in our fields, we're probably around that 15th to 20th of June is what we're, or July is what we're seeing. So definitely wanna hit this sweet spot. The other thing that we wanna look at, and then I'm getting a lot of questions on, is uh, tissue samples, Corey. So, Looking at tissue samples, especially coming into the model, how do we use them in the model? What are we gonna to do to make the decision? So here's an example of a tissue sample and what it looks like coming in the model. The sewer answer pot, uh, you can see this tissue sample was taken on the 19th of June. And uh, for the most part, we are pretty much good in everything. So we talked about the spider chart, where those nutrients need to be. We've also in the past mentioned the N to K, N to S ratios. Here you can see we're a little bit lower on that N to K, maybe signaling we need some potassium, which I mentioned before is we need some potassium, we need our roots to get down there. N to S is about right on, but what I'm seeing over and over again is this zinc and boron deficiency. So it's not as bad in this one, but what we can do with the field forecasting tool is we can hit calibrate model, and then we can focus in on, uh, do we need to uh, look at that chart, monitor that chart, and how can we use that tissue sample to then make a better decision for our grower. So this is what we're learning here in Chicago, and uh, we want to bring it back to you next week. Corey and I will be talking about RTN, RTF, and what we need to do. So tune in then. Great seeing you today.